Yeah, Smart War Games here. Let's check out Balance of Power. <clears throat> 90s edition. Or the Amiga. Your goal in this game is to increase prestige uh -huh, and uh, start a nuclear war. Then, uh -huh, okay, great. I will play the Soviet Union. You can also play two players. Good. That was that was uh yeah this country in our sphere of influence, yes. Ah this is in the neutral. Use something there. Perhaps if we can I mean moderate left is but it could be also some sort of yeah left right thing is Sometimes simply lacking in order to describe really a political system in a state. We will see. Um, we can support our insurgency there. And raise a government that is in our favor. Yeah, this US is a weak. Oh, okay. So we need to watch out, yeah. So the government is with us. And if we support them, we might make that stronger. Here, yeah, intervene for government, intervene for rebels. But uh, for me again, where was? But yeah, let's first check what we have as here. I guess that is um, history. Good. Ah. Yeah, interesting stats this game has. So I do 1000 cases of assassinations. Jimmy, that is. Oh, I mean, sometimes you need to send a hitman. Hmm? Five thousand deaths to assassination. What the heck? I mean, assassination. That is basically a executions. 
What is an assassination? Is that meaning murder? Assassination is basically a... I mean, could be a political one. Depends, yeah. Uh, it describes a contracted murder. Wonder why. I guess this here means political, but 5,000 GB. What the hell is going on here in the US? A pub's 5. They have 11. I would be too little one. <laughs> that, I don't know. I need to check the manual. Executions. 124. 2000, yeah, because of the death row, I guess. In Canada, 1000 executions. 2000. Okay. Canada. Did they ever had a death row? I don't think so. Yeah, interesting. China, yeah, 32,000, yeah, okay. Yeah, I wonder where they pull those numbers from, I guess, from some sort of breaking. Interesting numbers here. It should be armed attacks. US. Is there something involving a firearm? Silver Union 54, okay. Yeah, a lot of stack, stat tracking, but Jimmy, I'm, that is, I leave that to my Tonys, which I pay money for. I want nuclear weapons. <laughs> Can everybody read here in my country? Almost. Ha! Uh, Jimmy, get 99.01%. So we can state that Soviet people can read better than... Good, Jimmy, how can I get out of here of this ultra information mode? Yeah, resume game, I guess. Good, yeah, thanks. Now I'm absolutely informed about assassinations everywhere. Okay, um, relationships. Yeah, what can I do with my own country? Make policies now. You may intervene for rebels in my own country. Now wait, that is not how it works. Okay, let's check out again those two states here. Cameroon and... Uh, so, okay, what's going on here? Who is currently in power and who is opposing them? I need more information. Okay, good. Uh, whatever, I have one state in my influence. I need to watch here for my friends and fans. Check that we... Sure. Ah, uh, here. Lebanon as well. Good. And... Cameroon, right? Ah, uh, uh, so the other state. Yeah. Everyone. So we want to stabilize those governments, I guess. Good. Then, where was it? Here... Yeah. We... What? Ah, here. Military aid? Yeah, no, no, don't intervene. Military aid first. When did that happen? Jimmy, 20 million rubles. But we have 6,700 million rubles. We give them 100 million. What is that even? That's not even that much, really. Buy them some Kalashnikovs here. Same here in Lebanon. Uh, let Kalashnikovs roll all over the planet. Good. I need more Kalashnikovs on national flags. We Kalashnikov made it to. I once read an article that made it, I don't know, to, onto five, even more. Some temporary and some still nowadays, I think. Some flags still contain the Kalashnikov. Some uh, Asian flags.
Good. We are all free states with some insurgency growing up. Uh, now I have some military money. Can I also do something else? And we will immediately in intervene in Lebanon. I want to see how that works. Intervene. For the rebels, yeah. Give military aid to the government. Intervene for the rebels, yeah. Jimmy, who received that military aid? The government, right? <laughs> I don't know who is. Lebanon, yeah, I guess that is. No, no, Jimmy. Oh, shit. Oh, oh okay. Good. What is going on here in my country? Much pressing. Yeah, Soviet Union. Insurgency aid. 288,000 troops amount remaining. Where are those guys? Peaceful insurgency growing. Government philosophy left. Yeah, okay, so I guess this game treats it then. Left. Yeah, okay. Like this, this very simple interpretation left right system. Absolutely, US is a superpower. Insurgency human rights activists. Human rights, what is that? Human rights. What is that for a word? I said English. Set, what is that meaning? Human rights, rights. In my country, what, Jimmy, I don't know even. Yeah, okay, I'm having, oh, uh, Jimmy, what happened here? What is going on? Is this game continuing? I didn't even turn. What? Is that the Matrix? We did it by accident. Wait, no, no, we are now civil war in Zambia. Okay. Don't like that because that is somehow. Should <laughs> give 100. Ah, uh, but watch out with the money. Good. Okay. Next turn. That was already the turn. No. Yeah, if you want a modern game like that, check out the Kremlin games. Especially here, Crisis in the Kremlin. I mean, it is focused on the downfall of the Soviet Union, less on the yeah entire Cold War situation. On the other hand, here it is 89. Yeah, that is basically also just, it is already going going south for the Soviet Union in 89. So it is basically Crisis in the Kremlin, which was also a DOS game. Right, I wanted to check that out. Classic. Games never stop. Reason. I really like that. Interesting. Yeah, nice advisors. This is a very close judgment call. This is blah blah. Jimmy, you are my advisors, not my uh, parrots. Insurgency is growing when we provide them. I care what the US is asking of me. Diplomatic crisis, very good. Waiting for that. Yeah, yeah. It is disappointed by this dangerous activity. Refuse. We'll overlook this action, yeah, Jimmy. Now you have absolutely nothing to tell me. Where are I spending my PayPal money? 
You know, next I will. What happens if I intervene into the US? I can't. Jimmy, what is this Cuba? He <laughs> followed with the rabbit. Deploy 5,000 troops randomly into Cuba. Yeah, I wonder how you, if you can screw up with the system by doing that. Uh, <laughs> in Great Britain? Intervene <laughs> for the grabber stream, what? I, I, need to, I need to test it out. What the heck? What happens if you send 5,000 Soviet soldiers randomly appearing in Britain? Three West Germany. You can start World War Three, Jimmy. Roll in. Uh, <laughs> you can start World War Three. Uh. Five hundred thousand troops just crossed the German bo uh, Eastern Western German border uh, out of nowhere. Some madman in Moscow decided to send the signal. People are shocked. Uh. Cold War was almost over. Jimmy uh, suddenly, bam! One last Jimmy push. Uh, Italy, we can also capture this 5,000, yeah. Just joking, Jimmy. Italy. Holds NATO South. Greece, Jimmy, what, 20,000 troops? I think 5,000 Spetsnaz and uh, NVD can handle that. Jimmy, this game could be an Insta game over. I mean, they will immediately... What what they will do? I don't know. Yeah. World, World War 3 will start, but I think that is how you lose the game, right? Jimmy Norway. And. <laughs> I now I understand. <laughs> there was this joke. Uh, yeah. They left Norway out, okay. okay. Yeah, invade Sweden because of its aggression against Norway. <laughs> I mean, that is absolutely unacceptable. 100,000. Maybe all out warfare. And I need to expand here. Wait, what is that for a state? Iran? No, Iran, my friends. Afghanistan, Jimmy. But Turkey, Turkey, you can now decide. Turkey, you are NATO, right? But they rather joined NATO later, right? Friendly? Yeah, okay, that is enough for me to think the preparators of the Norway invasion. Jimmy, <laughs> the all out warfare. Nuclear warfare incoming. Yeah, let's see what the US will say now. Uh, excuse me, um, Moscow, can we talk? There is a slight problem. And it, now we not sh should play this um, intro of Red Alert 2, where the US president almost thinks everything is at peace, and suddenly when his ra NORAD reports Soviets coming everywhere, out of the hiding we prepared everybody was thinking it is over no we prepared everything here yeah. <laughs> the u.s demands reversal of this activity soviet union can you please stop driving massive military force into west german territory um what they will re re ream us on this one what ream? What's ream, mean? ream means applaud I want to see you. I want to lose the game, Jimmy. Okay. Prestige at risk zero. Utmost. Condemns this dangerous action but does nothing and watches. Yeah. Prestige at risk 5000, Jimmy. And now they go on Def DEFCON 4. Ooh. Jimmy, DEFCON 4. West Germany just got invaded by 500,000 Soviet troops. US president calls, calls the public and says, Jimmy, we rising. DEFCON 4, they are almost always on DEFCON 4 or not. Some, some, somewhere 
some guy buys a Kalashnikov the US goes on DEFCON 4. Oh shit, DEFCON 2. Okay, now we now it is What? Oh. There is an and uh, you need to play um here. Rises in a Kremlin, there is I think for Trotsky there is there's basically an achievement to achieve nuclear warfare, simply um, without being stopped by your own government. This game here doesn't stop you for doing that. Okay, yeah, that was Balance of Power, sorry. <clears throat> uh, for the Amiga, there's also a DOS version, and now nah, a Windows 3 version, and that.